Hey traders, we're looking at S&P 500 and mini futures and the time frame is 2000 tick chart. You guys can see that I have a trend line present on the chart. The structure is bullish and the reason why I drew the trend line is because I want to find a specific point on the chart where the high probability setup will appear. I also have a 21 bar exponential moving average plotted as a supportive indicator but it serves as a key entry point as well if a two-legged pullback occurs. Two-legged pullback with the direction of a trend at the set key entry point is a high probability setup. So now that I identify the structure that it is a bullish trend and I have the channel that is working higher, which can be found from the first two swings, I couldn't really find a good trend line using this swing right here. So I decided to use these first two swings right here, which basically the uptrend started strongly from this point on and it really fits nicely off the top and off the bottom. Here's a third confirmation of the bounce of the trend line and you guys can see price corrected all the way to the key entry point and this is where people started buying so this is the magic of price action now that we have a first break for this uptrend i expect for this uptrend to create and retest the new extreme this is the highest high of this entire move down and i expect for price to create a new high that is going to be higher than this high right here according to trend line rules i'm also drawing the trend lines for the short term corrections you guys can see there's the dance working over little close outside new extreme form which indicates that the downtrend may be over so right now i'm expecting a push above ema and continue resumption of the bullish structure after two like a pullback price strongly pushed above ema and created new high for this overall uptrend but you guys can see the overall structure is still very bullish and even though we have a new high i don't expect reversal necessarily i expect correction and instead i found off the bottom we have one two three touches for this flatter channel and we have multiple touches at the top take a look how nicely the price is reacting to the trend line at the top so this tells me that the bias is still bullish but the channel it may not be so steep and we can flatten out so i'm still bullish bias i'm still looking for long opportunities because ema still keeps holding price a lot of times every single time we push slowly below ema we instantly reverse and push back up once there was a two-legged like pullback the price pushed strongly above ema and created a high low confirmation of this two-legged like pullback and a strong push above ema so now you have a confirmation that the structure is bullish and you're looking for a new extreme however once this was forming this was extremely quick and it looked like almost like a news activity to be honest so uh, there was no chance to get in this and market was really volatile every single time you see spikes in volatility you don't want to be entering because you last thing you you want to get is slippage and you don't want to get a massive hit and on a fast market high volatility all right guys resuming the video as we have a nice higher low confirmation of this uh, move to the downside there's a break and a new extreme but i'm not taking it because market right now opened and I'm hoping if I can get a felt second entry short, I'm going to prepare my limit order if I get a felt second entry short here. Let's see market. All right, let's see how this bar finishes. Volatility, you guys can see how open is making price be really fast. But bias is still bullish, price pushed above EMA and I want to take this felt second entry short above exponential moving average. Key entry point is holding price, so let's see if we can get Oh, this is not the bar I want to I want to take. But we still may trigger lower and then have a bullish reversal bar. So I'm still ready with my order. Let's see. Let's see how the market reacts here. This would be also a second entry long if we reverse higher here. New low, first entry short, second entry short failure. First entry long, second entry long. I cannot go long about bearish bar because the bar is bearish. Come on, and we may not even get the entry market may stall one minute after market open and there is no entry. So this is how I handle the market open still would have probably been good enough for a quick easy scalp. But since it is right at the open, I really like to be careful. All right, guys, I'm quickly resuming a video as we may have a felt second entry short big, big bullish bar. I'm going to put my stop loss one tick below this bar. I'm going to go for 12 ticks. Three points target profit because the volatility is really increasing and i'm looking at the new low right here first entry short pull back second entry short but second entry short close above exponential moving average and there was a strong push above ema indicating bullish momentum price stole a little bit second entry short trigger and there was a trigger for second entry short and a strong bullish bar reversal closing on its very high above the exponential moving average this is showing extreme signs of a bullish momentum and i want to go long on a trap because everybody who went short they got trapped and also if you guys take a look this uptrend is right now in play so there is a break and i expect for price to create a new extreme for this uptrend right now 
So we'll see if we can get the scalp. So far not looking too good. We don't have a great follow through. But I still strongly believe in this trade that we're going to make it because such a strong bullish bar that trapped everybody going short on a second entry short while this uptrend is in play. This is why you have to draw the short and uptrend. And also what I see, I see a first leg of this consolidation and second leg down. So I see a two leg pull back down. I see as it, it played out and it was temporary correction. And come on, we need a couple more ticks to get filled here. Come on. I'm going for 12 ticks because volatility is really increasing. You guys can see how big the stop loss is and we got filled finally. So this is our first trade for the day and I'm going to see where I'm going to keep my runner. Our runner keeps going far and far away. And what I can see, I can see that there was even a high low confirmation of this reversal pattern, but there was already close to being new high form. But of course I was in this trade. So if you didn't enter on this trade, this high low was really tempting. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, trail it somewhere up here because I don't want to be too greedy. I want to take at least something. So I, I'm i going to trail it like this in case we keep pushing higher and higher. So it's going to be around 13 points. We'll see if we can make it. If we keep pushing higher, I'm just going to be tightening it really hard. I call this unrealistic trailing target profit because... Come on. 16 points. And we got 16 points. I think that's a good enough runner. But if I zoom out like this, I can still see that this is an overall bullish structure. And when we have two legs down like this, this downtrend is not strong enough down move for us to look for a second entry short. Take a look at the bigger picture. It's entire strong bullish momentum. So this was just a temporary two legged correction down. And since we are pushing strongly above the EMA, I'm drawing the shortened trend lines. The up shortened downtrend had a little break, new low. And the strong push above EMA confirmed the bullish momentum. And this is a high priority setup because everybody who went short right here just got trapped. So this is a felt second entry short, great bullish momentum bar. And this is the first high priority setup for the day. All right, we had a couple of setups that I really want to talk about. Price strongly pushed higher, created a new extreme. So we reset the count from this point right here because this is the highest point of this move right here. And since this is an uptrend, we're looking for two high priority setups, second entry long and felt second entry short. Since there is a new high, we have a first attempt to go long, pull back second entry long, but there's a huge gap between the bar and the EMA. So this second entry long form far away from exponential moving average. So this is a trap because you need to wait for price to push to the key entry point. Okay. And a lot of times when you see second entry long or second entry for that matter, form far away from key entry point, you can expect that there may be a double trap going to be formed. We had a double trap right here as well. And we have a double trap right here as well. So second entry long form far away from key entry point. So you know that people are probably going to get trapped. It pushed to the key entry point, exponential moving average held. There was this entry right here where the double trap occurred because people going long too early and going short too early on a felt second entry long above EMA. But you cannot go long above this bar right here. You're in a bullish uptrend and you need to see a bias confirmation basically. Then there was this additional entry, but the bar was already way too big and the double trap initial entry would have worked. So I don't think it's the safe entry to go long here. It still would have worked, but then there was a felt second entry short. It wasn't technical because once I have micro double bottom, I reset the count. So this was only a first entry short failure. But I, this was really tempting because a lot of times you still need to get a new extreme. EMA still keeps holding price. And if this low was a little bit lower, one tick or this high was one tick higher, this time, this would have been a first entry short, pull back, second entry short, above exponential moving average, nice bullish bar. This would have been a great entry, unfortunately, uh, no entry technically. All right, I'm resuming the video after quite some time because market is just completely working sideways, stacked in this consolidation. You guys can see how EMA is getting flat. It's in the middle of these bars. We are just swinging up and up and down. And I really didn't see any high probability setup for me to take. The bias is overall still very bullish, so I don't want to just sell yet. But you cannot go long directly into these highs because this resistance has been holding multiple times. Just quick update. Uh, I haven't taken any other trade since the last update because there just wasn't any good entry once the price pushed higher there was a new high form and it's such a strong push above ema and bouncing off the lows i expected a second entry long above ema but once it form above ema that's when i kind of changed the idea that we might get a felt second entry long below ema but it didn't happen again market just created a second entry long below ema and then strongly reverse higher so there was really no entry following the rules uh, down here and price was just pushing higher pushing higher price form a new extreme and right now you broke above this resistance but there's still a bullish bias take a look how we keep making higher lows every single time price broke higher this was a failed breakout pull back 
and EMA held price and price reverse higher. So this was the information that both are really strong and the market is going to push higher. So this is where you draw the slightly wider trend line because you would expect from this fell breakout to push back below the trading range. As the price is pushing higher, there was a new high form and there was a micro double top which resets the count. Normally, if this low was a little bit lower, I would have liked the second entry long EMA and looking for a new extreme. But since this was perfect double top, I, I generally most of the time reset the count. So I treat this as a first entry long and market took off without me. All right, price just formed a second entry long to like a pullback. This is the new high, first lag, pullback, second bearish lag and a big bullish bar form above the exponential moving average. I extended my option a little bit because price kept holding. And once the downtrend played out with the break and attempt to create new extreme, I still expected a new extreme to be formed, but this second entry long happened so quickly, I didn't even manage to get my order in time in place. I didn't even manage to record my reaction because there was a big bearish bar that formed below EMA and in split second, big bullish bar form and another second, it instantly created a quick easy scalp. That you basically sit through all this mess and you finally get a nice two-legged pullback as a high priority setup. But unfortunately, this happened so quickly, it couldn't have been entered. All right, guys, quickly resume my video as we have a high-low setup that may form above exponential moving average. We just need a one tick higher above this bar right here. So far, didn't hasn't triggered yet. And we got a trigger. So I'm going to drop my limit order. All right, so I canceled the order and you guys can see how great of an entry this would have been. I played it too safe. I should have probably, because the volatility slowed down a lot, I should have put it at the close so I can catch this trade. But this would have been a great entry. So right now I'm still sitting on one single trade. All right, I'm about to enter a second entry long. Let me just chase it a little bit. We jumped so quickly, this, this stop loss is fairly big, come on. Don't leave me hanging like this. The, sit, the stop loss is going to be way too big. I need to put it a little bit back. Come on. And we missed the entry again. All right, guys. So this was my last attempt and I'm already way too tired. It's uh, market is going to close in 40 minutes. And I really wanted to take one more trade to like a pullback break and a new low and two key entry points are holding also this is a breakout pullback for the trading range for the key level so this is a breakout pullback pattern second entry long downtrend played with the break and new low and a two-legged pullback but couldn't get filled here couldn't get filled here uh, this trade right here was extremely fast and only ended up taking this trade which is uh, not a bad thing because the runner was 16 points uh, better than to have losing trades but uh difficult day to trade because a lot of trading ranges you cannot go along directly into these highs but overall structure is still very bullish no clean second entry long this was this was the only clean second entry long right here and now the last few hours were just completely choppy i like this second entry long right here but by that time the ema was completely flat it's in the middle of these bars even though this looked really tempting i really cannot pull the trigger given how uh, choppy it is so I'm just going to wrap it up. I uh, only took one trade today, but at least it was a decent runner. So I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take care, buddy.